Hey, this is Ron Hughes and Stam, and for over 10 years I've been traveling the world as a professional surfer. The people I've met, the food I've eaten, and the landscapes I've seen have inspired me to share my experiences with you. Each week, I'll visit world-class restaurants, secret surfing locales, and hot spots you just have to see, all along the shore and accessible by boat. Welcome to Port to Port. I'm here in Sausalito at Fish. Kenny told me when I was in town I had to come by. Fish here in Sausalito known as having some of the best seafood in all of San Francisco, and I can't wait to give it a try. Hey, Kenny, what's up, man? How are you? What do you got for it's me? It's local halibut carpaccio. Caught last night. It's going to be beautiful. Awesome. Enjoy it. Thank you. Got it. That's what you got to love about a place like Fish. Right here on the marina, caught last night. You're not going to get it any fresher than that. Let's move into the kitchen with Chef Kenny to see how it all comes together. So this is the, the hotline, and the hotline starts with, with this grill, oak and almond. That's what we loaded with. And the flavors of that oak and almond come out in the food. It seems so easy. Why is it so unique? If you take good ingredients, it's hard to mess them up. Well, there you have it. I mean, this is really fish in a nutshell. The secret, really fresh local ingredients, everything organic. And I saw them seasoning love back here, which could be the difference. So the Spalding Center has been called by the San Francisco Chronicle a cathedral for wooden boats. And the centerpiece of all this beauty is the Frida here. Tell me a little bit about how this project came to be. Well, the Frida is the oldest sailing yacht on the West Coast. She was built in 1885 by Cookson, the local bartender at Tiburon, and this was his boat. And that's a good friend to have, a guy with a boat and he's a bartender. Exactly. Yeah, I can see why this place is so popular. <laughs> well, also, I think he had a lot of friends to help him build it because he was the bartender. On San Francisco's Fisherman's Wharf, between Pier 39 and 41, this incredible man-made structure floats in the bay, offering me a chance to see what I would build, you know, if I could afford it. Welcome, folks. Thank you. Inspired by Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Forbes Island was built in 1975 by Forbes Thor Cadu as his private residence. Yes, his private residence. Would you like to see the lighthouse? Yeah, I want to see the lighthouse. It's four stories high and has 55 steps. And on top of the lighthouse is a real Purnell lens on Lone to Meet United States Coast Guard, built 1840. The first time it was lit, they used whale oil. What's it got now? I use electric balls. Okay. <laughs> they didn't want me You're to not get allowed to get whale oil no, anymore, I heard, yeah. Maybe whale oil. <laughs> I'm at the Buena Vista, home of the world's best Irish coffee. Right there, it's the start of the best Irish coffee in the world. Right here. Looking forward to throwing one, two, or seven back. Ooh. But first, let's find out how it's made. So hot water just to get it started. Get warm that glass up, and then we'll put a couple cubes of sugar in. We're gonna pour the coffee about three quarters of the way full. Thoroughly dissolve those sugar cubes. And is it true you've poured over three million of these? Personally, yeah. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. It, well, you know, it's, uh, you know, I've been here 33 years, so it's only like 100,000 a year. It's kind of like the dating pool. <laughs> Joy? So this is Irish coffee number three million and one. About to be Irish coffee number three million and done. Yeah. Cheers. I hope you had as much fun as I did on our tour of San Francisco Bay. As we weigh anchor, I look forward to another awesome meal, another glass of wine, and most importantly, to seeing you next time on Port to Port. Until then, smooth sailing.